And we can tell you that a new policy is soon going into effect for CMS teachers in an attempt to slow the spread of COVID in the classroom. Next week, staff members will have to show proof of their COVID vaccination or undergo mandatory weekly testing. WCNC obtained an email explaining this that was sent out to, C to CMS staff last night. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is live at the Government Center. Chloe, the Board of Education is about to get a report on this and hear more about the plan at tonight's meeting, right? Yeah, Tanya, and this is in line with what the Mecklenburg County Health Department and the state recommended. But a Board of Education member told me they've been working on this for months. They just got assigned a vendor from the state about a month ago. So that is why these plans are rolling out now. Adding another layer of protection to the classroom. Starting on September 20th, CMS staff will be required to show proof of their COVID vaccination status. Everyone who's unvaccinated or doesn't show proof will undergo mandatory weekly testing. Anytime we have a better understanding of who might be um, contagious in the school system, we're better off because we can isolate and quarantine and make sure that we're not exposing more people. Mecklenburg County Health Director Gibby Harris sent this letter to the superintendent back in August, outlining key safety protocols. Having unvaccinated staff members tested was part of it. And having them test weekly helps us keep a handle on um, how much virus we're introducing into the school setting. And the less we introduce into the school setting, the more likely we are to keep our kids in the classroom. School officials plan to phase testing in, starting with half of the elementary school staff the week of September 27th, working up to the high schools by the week of October 25th. A CMS high school teacher who wanted to stay anonymous has concerns about how long it will take to reach the staff members working with the oldest students. So I have another six weeks where that won't even begin at my school level. Um, and then again, are they going to have money to do it by then? Are they going to find that it wasn't effective by then? And so is that going to continue to happen? Harris says there is state funding to support this through the end of the school year. The health department is working to hire and train additional employees to manage some of the workload. At the start of the school year, Superintendent Ernest Winston said they are not requiring, but strongly recommending vaccination. The burden of weekly testing could push some who are on the fence to get the shots. And students will also have access to this testing, but it is completely optional. Parents will get those forms in the next few weeks if they want to sign up for them. It just means that if they're showing symptoms in school, they'll be able to get a test right then and there. Live in Uptown, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.